Hello. So in this writing notes video, I want to talk to you grad students, uh, particularly doctoral students in uh, English or the humanities, about how to survive comps. Uh, comps is, for those of you who don't really know what, for, first off, I'll, I'll say this. Um, what exactly comps looks like varies distinctly from institution to institution. So I'm going to talk about my experience and I'm going to talk about some general things. Um, but be very aware that what your particular college or university expects from you may differ from what I'm going to talk about. But generally speaking, uh, comps, for those of you who don't know what they are, um, these are an exam or a set of exams that you take after you've begun your doctoral work, but before you begin properly working on your dissertation. It's, it's a kind of gatekeeping exam in a way. Um, it's a, essentially the function of comps is to test whether or not you are actually prepared to do a good job on the dissertation. That, in principle, is what this exam is about, is assessing whether or not you're likely to be successful. Now, that that is the charitable view of it. There are sometimes uh, dissertation committees or committees through universities or departments that purposefully try to make life difficult for grad students. Is this ethical? No, in my opinion, it's not, but it is a reality and it's something that you do want to be aware of. And it's something you want to be aware of when you're choosing your committee members is you want to choose people who you think are going to, to help you and and sort of have your back um so that's that but what do comps look like well again this varies a lot from place to place but one of the things that comps is meant to assess is whether or not you have enough knowledge and enough background that you can come into the dissertation process and be successful so uh, it may very well involve a lot of uh, questions about content, which is actually really quite useful in terms of later building a lit review, a literature review for your dissertation. And that's something that many dissertations want. Um, it's often going to challenge you on theoretical premises, the, the approach that you're taking and making sure that you understand it in a sophisticated way. And it may ask you to start thinking about your scholarly intervention in the field, which is ultimately what the dissertation is supposed to do. So how do you, and these are, and these are typically very, very challenging things. Comps is meant to be difficult. It is meant to be a challenge, but it's meant to be a challenge that is supposed to sort of propel you toward success, whether or not that happens in practice that's the idea of it so how do you prepare for comps first off you want to find out exactly what your comps is going to look like so uh, at west virginia university where i did my doctoral work comps was a series of three essays based on three reading lists so for each list um they would give us, I think it was, they gave us three potential questions drawn, drawn based on that list. And we had to write an essay about, we had to write an essay answering that reading list, answering that one of those questions. Sorry. So we had, I think it was three hours. It was open book. So we could draw in quotations and things like that. Uh, no, sorry. This was years ago, so I'm I may I'm mixing up the details. We we got to bring in one sheet of paper, one side with whatever notes we wanted on it, um, so we could prepare quotations. We'd write down key ideas, things like that. You if if you have that option, be very strategic 
about what kind of stuff you put on your nodes. Don't try and cover everything. Instead, try and figure out ahead of time what are the key ideas, key pieces of information, uh, things like that, from this reading list. You don't need to quote from everything. Make sure of that with your... <laughs> with your committee, but generally speaking, in a comps exam, you don't need to quote from everything. You only need to quote whatever material you need to make the case that you want to make. And so that's the thing that you want to think about strategically, is what do I want to argue here? And then prepare those notes if you're allowed to have notes. Um, if you're allowed to do this open book, if you can bring in your stack of books, mark things. Um, I would suggest finding different colored sticky notes for different ideas, different concerns, whatever it is, and put those in there so you can find things quickly, because comps is generally timed. So again, we had three hours to write a substantive, well-reasoned, well-developed essay drawing from source material. And again, we just had notes. We didn't have uh, the books in front of us. That's not an easy thing to do. Um, one of the ways that you approach it. So, uh, uh, and I'll, I'll say this, the other way that I, the other major way that I've heard comps done is as an oral exam, which is, I imagine, much more challenging for a lot of people. Um, and that's much more a test of memory. But I also tend to imagine the demands for success and well-developed uh, arguments and things like that may be a little bit lower um, because it's something that you're presenting or putting together on the spot, answering questions, maybe. I don't know. I didn't do oral comps. I did do dissertation and, and master's thesis defense, and I'll make videos about that eventually. But for the comps, you want to be thinking about what key arguments you want to make and how you would support those with evidence and information from your sources. So that's one thing that you always want to be thinking about is what am I doing? What's my project here? And you want your essays or your oral responses or whatever it is to be organized around that idea. This is what I'm presenting. And this goes along with actually the next piece of advice I want to give you about surviving comps, which is to never forget that comps is a hurdle that you jump over to get to a larger destination. Comps is in the service of the dissertation. And so if you are always thinking about this in terms of what am I doing in the dissertation and how do I use the comps to generate material, refine ideas, etc., etc., for the dissertation, rather than thinking about the comps as an end in themselves. That's a key thing that you want to do. Um, so, like, we, um, one of my uh, fellow doctoral candidates at WVU ran into the issue where they had gotten so focused on doing well on the comps that they were thinking exclusively about the comps. They weren't thinking about the comps as part of a larger process. And so when the committee asked this person, because we had an oral defense discussion afterwards, when the committee asked this person how the ideas were going to be developed in the dissertation, they weren't really prepared to answer because they had been thinking about it as I have to do well on comps. And that's a huge pitfall because a lot of programs will build comps up into this sort of do or die situation. They will present it as this is an incredible challenge that you have to rise to meet. And it is, but it's a challenge that you have to rise to meet on the path to the dissertation. So, those are the key things that I would say you want to, to be doing to survive comps. Make sure you're thinking about this in terms of the larger purpose of the project. Where is this going for the dissertation? 
How do I get there strategically? What ideas, what information, what sources do I need to know? Do I need to familiarize myself? And do I need to maybe put in my notes or mark in the books or whatever resources you can bring? Um, so you want to prepare that strategically. And then you want to always be thinking as you're writing or as you're speaking for your comps, how am I connecting all of these things together? How am I forming my ideas into a constellation that's going to help me uh, develop my scholarly intervention in the dissertation itself?